Hey everybody, it's me, Timmy Flyers Guy, and welcome to this edition of the Timmy Flyers Guy podcast. Yes, I didn't do the new intro yet, but I will be working on it. Maybe sometime during the off season, I'll probably be working on a new a new intro for my video. And welcome to this week's edition of the Timmy Flyers Guy podcast. I'm your host, Timmy Flyers Guy. I want to do a very special episode of the Timmy Flyers Guy podcast. And this one is a very emotional one. It doesn't happen to me, but I have a very emotional speech about my hockey team coming up. And I'm going to talk about why it's important for the Flyers to make the playoffs. I think that I will be working on the new intro tomorrow. So you'll see the new intro in the next video. So I decided to do this video without an intro, without an outro. I just thought I'd come on here and say something from the heart. I'm going to go all the way back to the 2019-2020 season to the Philadelphia Flyers. But I'm going to fast forward to 2020. The Flyers were officially in the playoffs. All the teams that made the playoffs, teams in the East, teams in the Eastern Conference would all, would all play at Scotia Arena in Toronto, and all Western Conference teams will play in Edmonton at whatever the arena it was. Uh, I forget what the arena was called, but Edmonton, I think the Edmonton didn't have the arena yet, but I forget what it was called, but all Western Conference teams were in Edmonton. During these playoffs, there were no crowds. No fans, just added crowd noise. Because back then, in March or April of that year, somewhere around the end of March, beginning of April, the pandemic happened. And the Flyers and all hockey was officially canceled until the playoffs. The remainder of the season was canceled until playoff hockey began. And I remember watching the Flyers play hockey and it, it happened in, in the summer. In the summer, which was very weird. And I can remember watching the games and saying to myself, this just doesn't feel the same. This just doesn't feel the same. Something's missing. And I, it dawned on to me that these games don't, they don't feel special without the crowd. They don't feel special without the fans. Being a Flyers fan, you're so used to that. Being a hockey fan in general, you're used to seeing your home arena be filled with fans. But during the pandemic, it was probably the most depressing form of hockey that I ever watched. I, I was excited, but deep down aside, it was depressing to watch hockey without fans in the crowd. It just doesn't feel the same. And the fire on the playoffs. Unfortunately, they were eliminated by New York Islanders in the second round that year. Flyers hockey did not start up again until January of 2021. It was a good start for the Flyers that year, but things started to take a turn for the worst. And it began to be an, a, a theme in the next two seasons. 
Warriors had probably one of the worst three seasons. Uh, in 2021, it was horrible. In 2021, 2022, it was even worse. And in 2022, 2023, it started out great. But then it started to really go down for the Philadelphia Flyers. But it did end on a on a high note. I have to admit that. Now we go into 2023, 2024. And this year, the Flyers are in third place in a Metropolitan Division with 74 points. Islanders are trying to catch up. On Sunday, they beat the Anaheim Ducks. So now the Islanders, I think, have 70 points. And if the Flyers could win on it, win tonight, it'd probably be. It would probably be 70, 76 points. But it's been a tough go for the Flyers trying to make the playoffs. The NHL. Suspending John Tortorella unfairly, if I might add. Unfairly, if I might add. And if you want to know more about that, um, I will uh, upload those videos to YouTube so you can see them. So let's get into this. It's really important that this Flyers team makes the playoffs. These guys on the team have put up with a lot of crap for seasons before Danny Breer was here. We had to suffer the tyranny of Chuck Fletcher. We had to suffer... They had three, three bad seasons. And now, the Flyers have a chance. They have a chance to make the playoffs. And as fans, making the playoffs is very important. Considering so the last time the Flyers were in the playoffs, none of us got to see it. But I'm hoping that this year will be the year that we make the playoffs. It's so damn important that this team makes the playoffs. For all the dreamers and believers in Philadelphia, me being one of them, it means so much. It means so much that this team makes the playoffs. And I would love to see the Flyers take on the Islanders in the playoffs in a rematch. Because I have so much respect and admiration for my friend Kim from New York, Isles Girl 3, on YouTube. And she is one of the most diehard hockey fans I have ever met. She reminds me so much of me. And the Islanders fans are just like us. Blue collar with hope in their heart and dreams on their mind. I really want to see my team make the playoffs. But like I said, if it doesn't happen, I'll be happy that I, my friend, Isles Girl 3, made it in. Her house girl, three and her team, made the playoffs. The Islanders are chasing us. They're giving us a challenge. And that's what I want. A challenge. And I thrive on a challenge. For years, Flyers fans had to put up with a lot of BS behind the scenes. But now, I feel like... Everything is coming through. Everything is coming to fruition. 
I'm not saying that we're gonna win it all. But damn it, it would feel so damn good if this Flyers team could make the playoffs. So damn good for every single Flyers fan that grew up in this city and watched Flyers hockey. We are a blue collar city and we expect hard work, passion, heart, and determination. And that is what this city exemplifies. And it all started back in 1967 when Ed Snyder brought this team to Philadelphia. And let's not forget, making the playoffs will absolutely make Ed Snyder proud. As he's looking down at us from heaven and smiling. It'd be a damn good thing to see this team make the playoffs and seeing all those fans at the Wells Fargo Center watching playoff hockey is a truly beautiful thing and it's something that this city desperately needs. Because I love this city. I love Flyers hockey. It's the best thing that's going today. It's Flyers hockey. And I love every damn minute of it. All the pain, all the heartbreak. If we make the playoffs, it'll all be worth it. I guarantee it. It'll all be worth it. To see our to see our boys play playoff hockey once again. Now that we got that out of the way, I also want to talk about something else. Years ago, in 2018, I met a very beautiful woman named Elaine, a very beautiful woman. And she came to see me. And she promised she would come to see me, and she did. And after that, we had our ups and downs. There were times me and her didn't talk because she was busy at times. And we didn't really have a chance to really communicate. And uh, we used to, uh, she came to see me, and, and she came to see me. In 2018, we would talk on the computer, face to face. We would tweet each other, we would send each other Instagram messages, and we would talk on Zoom. In 2021, things started to change. Me and her didn't talk for a while because things got all, uh, she had a very hectic life. She was very busy. And that really made me sad at times. But then, she came to see me back in November. She explained to me what was going on, and I understood. She came back many months later, in the month of May, we did an Instagram live video together. And we had a fun day together, and I was so happy and we got to be together. Fast forward, I think maybe the month of July or whatever. Um, she left social media, and then she left my life without a trace. For many months, I resented her for that. I absolutely resented her for that. And it hurt. It really hurt me. And I was just so bitter for so many months. Just so bitter and so angry and so resentful about the whole thing. And then it dawned on me a few, it dawned on me, like maybe about five, 
four or five days ago. It dawned on me that I really need to find some closure. And I really need to get my feelings out there. So I did a TikTok saying that I need to stop being resentful. I need to let it go. And I need to realize that that chapter of her life is over. And I need to move on. And I need to accept it. And I totally, I absolutely accepted it. And I realized that she needs to live her own life. I need to live my own life. And I need to stop being so bitter. And I need to stop dwelling on the past and get over it. Because in life, things happen. Things change. Things don't always stay the same. And you can't resent somebody for wanting to change your life or wanting to live a better life. You can't resent somebody for that. So I have all the respect in the world for her. I am glad that she's doing her own, her own thing. And I don't resent her for that anymore. Because I can't because life is too short to have resentment, hate, and bitterness in your heart towards somebody. And I am happy that me and her got to spend so many good times together. We may not be with each other, but me and her still have the great memories between us. And I hold no resentment towards her anymore. I am at peace. And she is at peace. And that's the way I want it to be. So that's a lesson, folks. Never keep hate and resentment in your heart. Because it's very ugly. And you don't want to be that person. I'm Timmy Flyers Guy, and this has been the this has been the Timmy Flyers Guy podcast. Thank you for joining me here on the podcast. I'll see you guys next week. Hopefully, my new intro will be out. So stay tuned for that. Like I said, I wanted to do this episode without an intro because I wanted to talk to each and every one of you, and I wanted to teach you guys some life lessons. Thank you for joining me, and have a great day, everyone. Tonight, the Flyers will be in action as they face off against the San Jose Sharks. I'm hoping for a win as the march to the playoffs continues. I'm Timmy Flyers Guy. Thank you for joining me. Before I go, here are some YouTube channels that I... Before I go, I'd like to give a shout-out. To every single Philadelphia Flyers fan out there, I have one day, I have something I need to say. We're going to do it. Don't worry. And even if we don't, we are in good hands with a GM like Danny Breer. Thank you for joining me, and have a great day, everyone. Have a great day.